in a whole new fabulous way. It's all thanks to this super cool pan. Get ready, wait till you see what's inside. We have taken really everyone's favorite staple, meatloaf, and transformed it into a gourmet experience. Okay, that's manicotti inside a meatloaf. Is that right? That is correct. O it's called M Mama Stuff Manicotti. OMG, Sandy Price. <laughs> I absolutely love this thing. It is our miracle meatloaf pan by Chef Tony. Mm -hmm. It's at a clearance price of less than $13. Crazy price, by the way. Crazy good. I, honestly, oh, and I have to say this. If you love meatloaf, you got to get it. If you don't like meatloaf, and that was me for the longest time, because I only ever had meatloaf that was a hunk of me ground too. meat with yes. some ketchup on top, right. you got to get this, because it will make you rethink the way that you see meatloaf, because this is as if you went to that gourmet grocery store and paid a lot of money for something like this. Incredible results, and your imagination, that is your only limit. It is. It really is. And um, Chef Tony, I want to give a really quick shout out, our good friend who who invented this pan and put together this wonderful recipe book. It's had some health challenges this week. So if you're watching, Tony, oh, love Tony. you, take care. Hope to see you in Chicago later this week. Oh, but, um, I'm sad to hear that. He's yeah, gonna be okay, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, but he put together 14 stuffing recipes, five mixes for the meat, pork, chicken, turkey, uh, anything beef you can think of and then four different glazes and there's basically how it works It's a basically a loaf pan awesome before we show mm -hmm. you how it works oh, Let me give you the you options of what you're gonna get in the colors So you pick your color and we have for you a, and you're picking by the color of lid So we have black we have red and we have blue so what you're getting is the meatloaf pan itself this is going to be the insert. I love this. You Even call if you it a don't, fat strainer too. Or a fat strainer. Even if you don't stuff your meatloaf, this just helps get the meatloaf out of the pan much easily and without breaking it up. And then you're going to, with the lid. This is going to be the secret to how you create the cavity, which Sandy is going to show you off. Mm -hmm. And by the way, that recipe booklet that's going to have that manicotti stuffed meatloaf recipe in there for you. Yes. So this is a beef mixture and you use the lid. It's actually, it's a, it's a tool that you use to make the divot or the cavity and you simply press it in mm -hmm. to make your cavity. And then this is gonna be the cold cut meatloaf recipe that's in uh, Tony's book. You lay this in and then just because of time and television. Okay. This is what you do. You simply add the rest of your meat on the top. Now, how many pounds of meat do we have in there? Does this take to make a, a nice looking meatloaf? Well, I guess it depends. About three pounds. It looks Probably. like about three pounds. Yeah. And then okay. what you do is this is the same tool or lid and you simply push the lid up and you press this. And what it does is it seals the edges and it gives you the perfectly rounded meatloaf. And then we're going to go to the oven. Okay. If you I will get hand, that for you, that absolutely. Thank you. I gotta do something around here, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Besides look pretty. <laughs> oh, wow. Some days that's a really tough job. <laughs> and here we go. This is the finished result. And what I wanna show you is that the lifters and genius, like Stacy said, that it, it helps you get it out easier. But what it does is it separates and strains the grease or the fat from the meat, mm -hmm. whatever your meat you used. And Oh, Look yeah. at this right here. This, a meatloaf is like a sponge. This is hot. And it will soak up whatever's at the bottom. All of that did not soak back into your meatloaf. It was strained away. This is a carbon steel piece of bakeware. Mm -hmm. You can actually use this as a regular loaf pan. And let me find my knife. Here it is. And we're going to cut it. Use mm. your imagination. Can't wait to see what's inside, Thanksgiving right? leftovers. This Ooh, is the finished product of, of the cold cuts. Of the cold cuts, provolone, awesome. uh, black forest ham, uh, all type Havarti, all types of cheeses, and mashed again, potatoes. Mashed you potatoes, put in there. asparagus, your Some imagination. Cheese. I've seen Tony make yes. mac and cheese stuff. Oh yeah, we actually low. have that. Oh, do you have that? Mm -hmm. Ooh, my it's lucky right day, here. right? Look right here. Here's um, the thing. It's, there it, it is. I find cheese. that sometimes just a good meatloaf pan is hard to find it in is. the store. So just for that alone, it's worth the $13. But now you're making incredible new gourmet experiences for your family because you have the 13 recipes to get you started. Or you already know all the favorite sides that you make with the meatloaf. Now just stuff them inside. Mm -hmm. And again, while meatloaf isn't necessarily a healthy food. It can the be. Fact, and, wow, 
It with, can be. We can make with it with turkey? ground turkey. Okay, there actually, you go. Actually, this actually Tony, uh, five of the recipes okay. are ground turkey, ground chicken. You can use pork. You can use beef. Oh, you so know what? You I can think make it as healthy or as decadent as you want. The beef pork veal mixture. Yeah. Is the best if you want to do a meatloaf. So what do we got inside this one? Look at this. Oh, this is the Greek aisle. My How about favorite. feta? How about some spinach and Kalamata olives? Do you oh, want some? Yes, of okay. course I want some. I'll give you a new oh, plate. I don't need a real. Oh, jeez. We'll she just knows how I really want. like to eat, right? <laughs> this is what she does when she gets off the set. But less than $13. <laughs> For a great pan, I know. great nonstick too that you have here, and it's dishwasher safe. Yeah, top so, rack dishwasher safe. Honestly, easy cleanup, but there just have fun in the kitchen. Really surprise your family. I think this is great if you know that your family, especially if you have young kids. My kids fortunately love meatloaf, but if you have the kids that don't, you get this pan home and you tell them you're making meatloaf, and you see like maybe the disappointed faces. But then when you cut into it yeah. and they have cheesy mac and oh, cheese or mashed potatoes, and then they're gonna flip this their right here lids. is Tony's pepperoni pizza. So this is pork <laughs> with pepperoni and cheese and some marinara in the middle. And again, your imagination is the limit. Take the things that you know your family mm. likes, things that you have left in the refrigerator, this leftovers. Oh, good. Pepperoni pizza in the middle. And this is actually manicotti inside of ground turkey. Ah. Oh. So, I mean, simple. Really, the possibilities can, yeah. are endless. And we even have something called Mexican meltdown. Mm. And it's where you can even put in the pre-made frozen burritos. You don't have to make it from scratch. Oh, my. Um, literally, this, this book is going to get you started, going to get your wheels turning. But you're, when you get it home and you know your family, you're mm. really going to mm. be surprised at all of the options that you have. You could do uh, mushrooms and agrarian yes. cheese in there. You could do a lot of roasted vegetables if you do want to try to keep it healthy. This is pepper Stuff stuffing that in there. Right That's here. pepper stuffing. And here's my question, though. Mm -hmm. Obviously, with the recipes, we're going to know how long mm -hmm. to cook it and what to do. What if we had that favorite recipe of our own, meatloaf mm -hmm. recipe, and we just want to try stuffing something inside? Do we need to adjust our cooking time because it's stuffed? Do we need, should we yeah. cook it a little what longer? What I would do is use this as a guide. Depending on the density of what you're putting in the middle, obviously okay. will affect the cooking time, but you don't want to overcook it because then your meat will be tough. So I would say use this as a guide, if that makes sense. Like, it would take longer to cook the one with the cold cuts right. in the middle because it's very dense cheese and meat than okay. it would, let's just say, some vegetables, okay. like green beans and mashed potatoes. Good call out. All right, so pick your color. Just get it home for less than $13 yeah. and have fun, or just use it as a, as a yeah. loaf pan for cornbread or some, something else like that.